There have been a lot of changes around the Lone Star State uh, in the coaching ranks, and one of them have ha- has happened down in a beautiful Houston, where the Rice Owls have a new head coach, and we have the distinct pleasure of welcoming in the new head coach of those Rice Owls is Coach Mike Bloomgren. Coach, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you guys? Doing excellent. Where does today find you? Today actually finds me back in California. Just got in after uh, going a few different places in the great state of Texas, including Houston, as you mentioned, and uh, a day in Dallas, and a day down south in McAllen, and then back to Fort Worth yesterday. Jeez, you have been all over the map. So then uh, I guess that kind of leads me into my, my first question, which is what has been – what have the last two weeks been like for you, uh, you know, get, uh, getting the job and and then, you know, running all around? It seems like you have not stood in one place uh, for more than about 10 seconds. Yeah, they're, they're, it's been exciting. It's been a lot of time on airplanes and some things that, that I had committed to, obviously, before I got this job, I guess, eight days ago. But, uh, you know, I mean, you go back two weeks and I guess you're talking about the Pac-12 championship and then Sunday on a plane with my wife to visit Rice and Wednesday's the team meeting and press conference. And then from there, you're recruiting, and going to Atlanta for the college football award show for Bryce Love and then to New York for the Heisman official visits in between it's it's been a whirlwind it's been freaking awesome though yeah it, it sounds like uh work but fun work the kind of work uh, you want to be busy with yes sir absolutely all right so we've heard uh, we've, we've heard a lot and we've talked a lot about how you seem like a really good fit for rice i want to know the the reverse of that why why is rice such a good fit for you rice is a great fit for me because when i left the nfl seven years ago and came to stanford I absolutely fell in love with the caliber of kids you get to work with. I'm talking about the kids that want excellence in every phase of their life. They're self-starters. They're freaking driven, and they really want to be coached. And and not that it wasn't that way at a place like Alabama or Florida State when I was there, but this is just a little different kid. And I've been so spoiled by working with this kid, these kind of kids, and these great families that Rice seemed like a natural fit. I, I really believe there's only five places in America where you can get a world-class education and play big-time football, and that's you know Stanford, Northwestern, Rice, Vanderbilt, and um, gosh, there's one more that I'm losing right now. Oh, Duke, mm-hmm. you know. And so when you when you break it down like that, and I know that I'm going to have to recruit my brains off to get a roster with talented enough football players that can actually do the schoolwork as well. But when you get them, man, those locker rooms are magical, and the kids you get to work with day in and day out, they're freaking awesome. Uh, it, it's it, we're excited about it. We're excited uh, about getting uh, rice football uh, on the winning path. Uh, uh, you know, here in Texas, uh, we are in the central time zone and we go to bed really early. Uh, and so maybe we don't see a ton of Stanford football. Uh, I understand you guys are some sort of bird mascot, I guess. I don't know. But I want to ask you, what can rice fans, what kind of team can rice fans expect to see under Mike Bloomgren? Physical. Mm-hmm. physical and, and taking advantage of every opportunity to be just that much more physical in every freaking rep. Mm-hmm. You know, offensively, we're going to be based in a West Coast offense in, term, in terms of terminology and the base, but we're going to have a power running game that's going to come right downhill at you. Mm-hmm. And I believe a couple of things philosophically that I learned in the NFL, and that's pound the rock, control the clock, and play great defense. And that's exactly what we're going to try to do. That sounds like a plan. We're, we're talking with Mike Bloomgren, the head coach of the Rice Owls here on Texas Football Today. Get involved in the conversation, the hashtag TF Today. Coach, you mentioned you're going to have to recruit. I believe to use your phrase, recruit your brains off uh, to, to get the kids that, that you need to, to win and compete in Conference USA. Uh, so my question is, is this. What is your recruiting pitch? What is what is the uh, – uh, when you walk into a, a prospect's living room, uh, what, what are you telling them to convince them to come to Rice? Yeah, there's a couple of things. And it starts with the best of both worlds, the best of really being a student and an athlete on a campus and being part of something really special. And also coming in at the ground floor, we're going to be building, Uh, you know, they this old staff, you know, Coach Bailiff won a ton of games here. But right now, I think anytime you have something new come in, the new guy is going to shake the system and rock the culture. And that's what we're going to do. You know, we're going to bring with us um, a strength coach that's going to kind of change the mindset. I look back at their schedule last year. And they were in four games in the fourth quarter, and they didn't find a way to, to win those games. And so everything we're doing with our current team this offseason is going to be based on finish. And now when you inject the new blood of this class, this exciting new blood of whatever this class is, you know they're going to have to jump right on in. And so we're looking for leaders. We're looking for people that want to get their hands dirty and come in and be a part of something really special. You know, you're taking over a program that obviously had a very tough 2017 season going going 1-11. and How do you instill, you know, I think it's I think in a lot of respects it's, it's easy to say a, to a winning program, hey, keep doing that, it works. Um, how do you instill that winning 
kind of attitude in these kids? And, and is that something specifically you're looking for uh, in, in a recruit? hundred percent. I love the ones that come from winning programs. I can't tell you how fun it's been being out in the state of Texas and getting to see these kids that are on teams. Some of them are still playing. Some of them went three, four rounds deep in the playoffs and, you know, talking to their coaches and, and seeing the culture at their own place and, and basically just looking at them and being like, yeah, that's what we had at Stanford. That's what I want at Rice. Come be a part. So I, I think it's I think it's an exciting time to be out and about with those kids. Uh, in in your uh, introductory press conference, you you had some glowing remarks for a guy that we're familiar with around these parts in, in Dennis Francioni, a guy that you you learned under. How did he help shape you into the coach that you are today? Oh, he taught me discipline and organization. You know, discipline and organization, really how how to push and get these get that magic started. The other thing I think I learned from him is just seeing him involve everybody in the building and everybody that touched at that time Alabama or Texas a and football, and they felt value. I mean, it could be the janitor that thought if he swept the floor a little bit better, it might give us one more first down. And so everybody was all in, and that's exactly what I think you want. That's a healthy culture. And, you know, I think there's two, two big jobs I have right now that I'm looking at. Uh, one is culture. And the other's recruiting. You know, those are those are the things that need help the most right now, and, and that's what I'm going to attack. And I, I don't want to get away from the question you asked about winning earlier. I, I think the way that we're going to get these guys to have the confidence to win is we're going to push them harder than they've ever been pushed, and they're going to survive it together, and they're going to build that brotherhood because, you know, when it's fourth and one, all their coaches are going to be a sideline away. We're going to give them a great call, and we hope we trained them, but they're going to be a sideline away. So through hard work – given everything they got for each other and then earning some confidence on the field through spring and training camp. That, that's where it's going to come. Uh, we're, we're talking with Mike Bloomgren, the head coach of the Rice Owls here on Texas football today. Get involved in the conversation. Hashtag TF today. And coach, uh, you know, you're an offensive guy. Uh, one of the one of the things we were looking for is is who you were going to bring in as your defensive coordinator. If you made your decision, you've hired Brian Davis as your defensive coordinator, uh, a guy who certainly has some uh, some uh, some bona fides. He's certainly got some skins on the wall. Uh, why was Brian Davis the right call for you def- on the defensive coordinator front? Yes, sir. Brian Smith was just a guy that I worked Brian with Smith. in New York. And so w- when we started, we actually started the same day with the New York Jets back in 2007. And, you know, in a role they call quality control for a system that was in the Bill Belichick mindset, Eric Mangini called him PhDs, poor, hungry, and driven. Mm -hmm. And I took such a pay cut to go there, and so did Brian. Uh, But I sold my car. I sold my car, and so Mm -hmm. me and my wife and newborn baby only have one car. She would drop me off Monday at 8.30 in the morning and pick me up Friday night. Mm -hmm. And so we slept under our desk together. I mean, we were roommates in the truest sense of the word. So he's a guy I love and trust. And then you look at who's molded him football-wise, mm-hmm. and it's Eric Mangini in situational football. It's Rex Ryan for the pressures. And, oh, yeah, he played for Don Brown at UMass and won a championship <laughs> with him. Then he started coaching for Don Brown, and now he's been with Don Brown at the University of Michigan for the last two years with top three defenses. And I just freaking love the scheme, and I love the guy. So you're just saying Brian Smith is, is a buddy, and you know you just want to get your buddy a job. Is what you're yeah, saying. not exactly. Not exactly. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's certainly got some, some skins on the wall, does Brian Smith, your new defensive coordinator. All right, Coach, we want to wrap it up with a little bit of lightning round. Got a couple of questions for you to get to know you a little bit better now that you're, you're here in the state of Texas and you're one of us. First question, cake or pie? <laughs> Man, let's go pecan pie. Okay, pecan yes! pie. That's Correct a, answer. That's a, that's a very good answer. Okay, so far. All right, you know him maybe better than anybody. What makes Bryce Love so good? Wow. The, the, the factor that nobody I've seen in college football has is the ability to finish and his freaking just flat-out speed. He ran a 10-7 when he was 12 years old to set the national record. So that's the one characteristic, but the other one is his heart and his drive. I mean, he had 1,180 yards through five games and then got a high ankle sprain, and all he did was continue to fight. Even when he couldn't walk off the field, he would come on and run somehow. So I freaking – those two things, toughness and uh, freaking speed. All right, so when you get home finally after this whirlwind tour of America, let's just say that your, 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 your wife and kids say, all right, Dad, we want you to cook dinner. What are you cooking for dinner? Give me some steaks on the grill. Oh, I'll make it happen. Oh, man. Okay. So far, so good. I got All right. <laughs> now, you, you mentioned in your introductory press conference that your, that your lovely, lovely wife, Laura, uh, worked in a laundry room – at a psych ward in North Carolina. That's that's right. Why, first and foremost, did she work in the laundry room at a psych ward? 
Yeah, she was in that laundry room. She was actually in the lock unit. So oh. she was behind all those doors and all those locks dealing with those crazy people. <laughs> and she did it purely out of love and because we had to feed our family. Yeah, she was <laughs> she got her master's in social work and it was the best job in the area and she's a team player. Okay, so then it begs the question, what's the worst job you've ever had? Maybe a summer job when you were in high school or something like that? Yeah, it was before I was old enough to actually work. Um, I was, I think I was 13 or 14. I worked in the Thomas County, Georgia stockyards and literally shoveling it. You know, I mean, oh. in and out with the cows. And I mean, that made yeah. me want to get an education. I promise you that. Uh, coach, yeah. you are winning some fans out in West Texas yeah. right now. I'll yeah. tell you that yeah. much. And finally, Coach, it is the Christmas season. Actually, I got two more questions. First, it's the Christmas season. We know that you're a gadget guy. You like the, you like the, the newest technology. It's been written about a few times. What's on your Christmas list? You know, what a great question. I'm trying to think what my wife asked me about. One thing I saw, like, traveling on all these airlines is there's this uh, these adjustable desks that you can stand instead of sit all day when yes. you're watching film or working on a computer. I have one of those, but that company is coming out with one that is an exercise bike with a flat desk on it. And I thought, man, that Whoa. might be good for my fat butt. <laughs> <laughs> they, listen, we, we, we could all stand to, to, to get up and move a little bit more. And, and finally, Coach, the most important question is the Christmas season is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Heck yeah. Okay. All 100%. Right. You heard it here first from the new head coach of the Rice Owls, Coach Mike Bloomgren. Uh, follow him uh, on Twitter at mbloom11. Coach, really appreciate your time. Congratulations on the gig. Welcome to Texas, and uh, best of luck on the recruiting trail and down the road. Thanks so much. Go Owls. There he goes, Mike Bloomgren, head coach of the Rice Owls. I'm fired up! He's awesome. I'm fired up. I think recruits are really going to like that interview. I think they're going to be. I think they're going to be fired up. If you are thinking about going to play for Rice, why wouldn't you want to go have fun? I feel with like that a, guy? I feel like a dummy. I, I I know it's Brian Smith, but I wrote down Brian Davis. Right. I don't know why. Probably but, because we deal. You know, we read so much from Brian Davis at the States. I know. All the time. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm I'm sorry. Brian Smith is our defensive coordinator. Our outstanding defensive coordinator. That's all right. And I've actually already in between now and then I called Brian Smith and see if he's willing to take your job, and we'll just get you out of here. It's tough, but so, fair. That's fine. Uh, but I'll tell you. Man, that's that's that guy's what, fire. What more do you want? What more do you want? Right. You, I mean, you, we already knew, we already felt like it was a great hire. But you, I, if I'm a recruit and I'm listening to that and I'm thinking about Rice, look, that, sounds, that sounds like a lot of fun. Look, let's be real. Yeah. Like you know, it was a tough year this year, yeah. and and it's hard to recruit to a program that goes one and eleven. Yeah. But at the same time, what you need is somebody who is fired yeah. up to be yeah. there. And boy, howdy, is he yeah. fired up to be there? Yeah, we got commenters. They they're like, this sounds like a great hire for Rice. I think I think they're right. I think this is a guy that we can be excited about. Every new hire is pretty exciting, most of them anyway. Yeah. Uh, but but this one does feel like a really really special fit. So and we'll see. and I can appreciate it because <laughs> as somebody who has to talk into a microphone. Yeah. Okay. But off the air. I, I can curse a little bit yeah. every once in a while. Yeah. Between freaking and literally shoveling it. Yes. Oh, man, after my own heart. He needs Nailed to get it. across what he Nailed wants it. to say. Yeah. But he is, yeah. man, That's that. he is fired up, and I I, I think Rice, I thought it was a great hire. Yeah. And, and you know what? His, his answer on my question about why Rice was a good fit for him. Yeah. Really impressed me. Yeah. That the kids, he's exactly right, that I imagine that when you get these kids... That are that truly want to be there and and who have to make the grades to get yeah. into Rice and yeah. who have to have they're a uh, special kind of driven kid. They're a special kind yeah. of kid, and when yeah. you get a bunch of them together like they do at Stanford, yeah, it can be special. And yeah. so we really appreciate Mike uh, Mike Bloomgren from Rice joining us. Appreciate uh, the great Chuck Pool down there at Rice for hooking us very up much with that. It's fantastic. I made sure I got the Rice logo, Chuck. It's right. It's Don't right. Worry. Yeah, Good. it's the right 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 Rice Rice logo. So hopefully he won't uh, he won't be mad at me for that. Fantastic. That was. Awesome. Very excited. Thank you so much, uh, Coach Bloomgram, for joining us.